It is so good to be back musky fishing again. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I can't begin to describe how good it feels to be chasing toothy critters again after a long winter and uh, a long, or beginning to spring as well. <laughs> so I went down and fished with a couple of buddies of mine, Matt Vavrock, Ben Stone. We were fishing in Iowa, who has an amazing muskie program, the DNR, coupled with Muskies Inc. and the three chapters that are in Iowa. They've done an amazing job of getting some really fantastic lakes going out there, so kudos to them. And then real quick, to protect that resource that we have there, I wanna talk about fish handling. First and foremost, a big net that is able to drape down into the water, pull it up next to the side of the boat, but still have enough netting so that that fish can rest comfortably in the water. And I would say, Get that fish unhooked as quickly as possible. I'm just as guilty as anybody about this. You're excited to get the fish, high fives, all that. If you can minimize that, get that fish unhooked, especially if it's hooked high in the net so you can get its head in the water. And then that way too, once it's unhooked, it, it, there's less of a chance of it getting a hook in the eye or just tearing its face up even worse than it already is. Get the fish unhooked quickly and get it rested in the net while you prepare everything else. Pair of pliers, in fact, have two pairs of pliers in the boats, a long one and a short one. Sometimes it's handy to have two people working in there if a fish is really badly hooked. So two pairs of pliers. That way, if you're an idiot and accidentally throw one in the water, which I've seen happen before, you have a spare. So a pair of pliers, especially a long nose, needle nose pair of pliers. And if the fish is hooked so badly that just popping hooks is not gonna work, these little guys, Nipex, these are the best ones you can get. I will try to remember to leave a link below for these guys, but these Nipex will cut through hooks and split rings like butter. And remember, if you do cut hooks, remove the pieces that are still stuck in the fish, if at all possible, and uh, just get that stuff out of there. Last but not least, especially if you're fishing by yourself and you don't have that extra pair of hands to maybe open up the fish's mouth, a pair of jaw spreaders. Can't hurt. Gets the fish's mouth open, lets you work in there a little bit more efficiently and effectively. So that's the stuff you need, folks. Big net, all these tools that I mentioned, uh, that will be a good start towards having a boat that is ready to handle a big fish like a muskie. As I mentioned, Muskies Inc. is an amazing organization that does so much for the sport. So I would encourage you all, if you haven't already, join Muskies Inc. I will leave a link down below for that. It's really fun to go to the meetings, meet other guys and gals that are into this crazy sport, and it's just a really good experience. Now with all that said, let's get into some of the most fantastic muskie fishing I've ever experienced with my good friends, Matt and Ben. Fish. Nice fish. Watch your bait. Nice, dude. Excellent. Whoo! I think that there is a there is a Poseidon on the bottom of the map. <laughs> oh, okay. I figured the fish was more important. Absolutely. We could get a new Poseidon. Absolutely. I don't know how good the foot is gonna be, but I was filming small motion. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, that's cool. All right. I feel validated. <laughs> I like musky fishing. All right. Iowa musky number three. That's great. Boop, boop, boop. Come here. Come here, silly. And stop trying to break my finger. All right, here we go. There we go. Crush that Rusty's Custom Six Sucker. That is such a consistent bait for me. It's so cool. All right. Nice, clean. Well, not super clean. Every fish we've gotten so far has been a little bit scarred up, but uh, that is to be expected this time of year. Let's get her back. No, that's okay. All right. All right, buddy. There 
there he goes. Bye-bye. Thanks for the ride. Whoo! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Little guy, that's... <laughs> I just, I gave it that pause right next to the boat and it was just... It kind of fought like a big one. It did like the slow one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> funny. <laughs> like this one guy stopped me at one of these bass tournaments when I was younger. And was talking about fish. Good work, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep them just there. Well, I, I gotta reel this up. That was crazy, I dude. Reel this up. Where, I, did, uh, where did that fish come from? I don't know. Because I think I got. Because I, I was, I was sitting here watching you just kind of fiddle, fiddling around with the bait next to the boat, and it came from under the boat and just whacked it. Rusty's gonna need to make some more of those. <laughs> He's gonna be selling out of those really fast. <laughs> My God, dude. Dude, that was so this is cool. Out to be a, a pretty sweet day. I just missed one. Uh, Brian just missed the small one, and now he caught one. And I think I just got bit. So, Holy. I suck. I can't catch a fish. Oh, man. Wow, would you, would you catch that bait on, Brian? Well, I got it on a Rusty's Custom Lures 6-inch six 6-sucker. Six this thing has caught so many muskies, it is kind of ridiculous. That little dangly blade, man. I don't know if the fish give a hoot about it but i sure like it <laughs> all righty it might sound like i'm rubbing it in but i'm not this is the third fish i've caught today ben um <laughs> let's see if we can get a look at her here all right come here ooh, 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 ooh. all right real quick get your picture taken just another gorgeous fish i love the colors on these iowa fish they are so pretty. Crush that Rusty's Custom right next to the boat. I think I probably, actually I stole Ben's fish because he got hit right before I got this one, so. All right, let's get her back in here. There she goes. Sweet. <laughs> I can't get it on there. <gasps> Fish! Holy! Here we go. Sorry, I swore. Woo! <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Hey, Woo! <laughs> yeah, son! <laughs> what is happening? Right now? That stupid thing is just. Wow. Destroyed. I'm, noticing, I'm noticing a trend. It seems like any time that I stop what I'm doing to get footage, <laughs> Brian catches a fish. That's a nice yes. one. Yes. That's, 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 that's my fish. That's my fish. Yes. I told you. Down stole two fish from me. I was, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure this is where Ben had his fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my uh, god. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so awesome. God. What a day. This wow. is incredible. This is amazing. Alrighty, let's see what we got. She's what fish is this again? <laughs> Sorry, I'll leave that out. Alright, baby. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. We're gonna take a look at how big she is. Babe. Right, I gotta switch my settings on the wrong ones. 39. 39. Yep, all right. Ryan tied me. There we go. What a beautiful fish. We are having a blast out here. This is so much fun. Just absolutely crushing, dude. Like, what is happening? All right. Like, Ready to get her back in? All right, cool. Let's get this bad girl back in the... Oop, don't do it. Don't do it. I can feel like she wants to do something. Let's get you back in the water, girly. 
she's, cool she's water. yeah, she's a little beat up from the spawn, but there she goes, nice and strong. Wow, what, what is, is happening? This is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> well, folks, uh, what an amazing afternoon this has been so far. Uh, it's gotten a little bit dark out here, so I do have my H3O. Uh, polar clear lenses on these things come in so handy uh, when you have these low light conditions So really enjoying that, but uh, I'm also enjoying the fact that we're catching muskies. How many times can you say that when you're musky fishing? <laughs> Not a lot for me, but uh, it's just been an amazing day. Uh, I've got four Matt's got one Ben's trying he's trying really he, look at him. He's trying so hard back there uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are honestly having such a blast out here, folks. I have so much fun fishing with these guys. Uh, and I think we've probably got another 15, 20 minutes left here that we can hopefully put one more in the boat. All right, everybody, we are calling it quits for the day. We've got Casey's Pizza on tap. That's always a tradition for us down here when we do this trip. Uh, so we're gonna get back and get some food in our bellies. Big thanks, Matt Vavrock, Matt Vavrock Fishing. It's his YouTube channel. And Ben Stone, our fantastic filmer today. <laughs> uh, it was a really cool day. Everybody had shots of fish. Uh, we put five in the boat. Just amazing for the amount of time we had, for the weather that we thought it was gonna be which just goes to show you uh doesn't matter what the weatherman says it's going to be you got to try to go if you got the time to do it so uh yeah we are gonna keep our fingers crossed that the wind is not going to blow 20 to 30 miles an hour like they're saying but uh we shall see so thank you everyone for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you on the next video